Hello everybody, what's going on? Jerome here, and I have you guys an also new Minecraft Showcase. As with all my other Minecraft Showcase, however, you can get the link down below if you want to download it at any time, and all credit goes to their creator. Once again, the link will be down below, and uh, let's take a look at this now. So now what I have for you guys is basically a cruise liner, and it even comes with a companion cruise liner right over there, which I think are really cool models. It's basically made, I'm pretty sure, so that you can copy and paste this into, say, if you had a private world, and if you had the right kind of uh, mods to do so. I'm pretty sure the simple plugins like MC Edit would work for that. There are a couple things you can do. Also though, if you don't want to do that and you just want to explore the map, of course you can just download it or you can get permission from him to put it on your server. Whatever you want to do, there's tons of options. It's really just about the creation though. So let me just show you guys real quick. Just because of how massive it is, this is just me trying to get around one side of it and the other one is right over here. Now although they are very similar, there are a few differences. Mostly it just comes in the color scheme of them. This one as you can tell is the blue and white right there as well as the, I guess you could say like a blue and red fin. I think that's a carnival uh, cruise liner like type of fin design. I'm not positive. Then over here you also have a yellow stack one which is basically I don't know what kind of cruise liner that is but it's just a different type. And uh, both ships really they kind of have that little tiny difference then. There's not much else besides that except for right here you have a teal flooring and then over here you have a wood flooring. And underneath you have the red frame and the blue fl uh, frame. And uh, one second. Sorry about that guys. But yeah so basically there's a lot to do here. The only thing I will say that's a little disappointing is that they don't have individual rooms currently built but I guess that leaves for some room for improvement which is always good. That means if you guys wanted to, you could go in, maybe add on to the map, ask the guy if you could post that in return. You know, obviously you're going to need permission from the guy, really, though, but there's a lot of things you can do with that. And uh, there is some things that have been developed, maybe not so much that they should have. You have doors like this, and you have wide open spaces. That's one thing he did do. He made it so that you could develop different things, as you can tell, all the wide open spaces here. And uh, there's different layers like this all the way down, so if you want to make floors, you could. But yeah, most of it is just on the exterior, which I guess I always talk about the good and bad. Good, the exterior looks badass. The bad part, it doesn't really have much of an interior, which is kind of sad. But hey, what are you going to do? I still think he did an awesome job with it. And just so you guys can see, there's also this little area over here. It's nothing much, but I do like the concept of being able to walk around, look out of the glass, and kind of just see all over the ocean, even though it's, it's a grass ocean. Don't don't question it. It's a grass ocean. Once again, you can easily copy and paste this using certain tools to a, a water-based area. But yeah, so they have a lot of cool things to this map, and I think it's really awesome. So anyway, guys, I hope you've all enjoyed this. If you did, be sure to subscribe and check out my other content. And also, make sure you check out this awesome app. Once again, all credit goes to the creator, and the link is down in the description. Good night, everybody.